The Nigerian Port Authority has given a marching order to truck transit park operators to comply with the rules of engagement regarding the deployment of needed infrastructure to drive the electronic truck call-up system. The acting managing director of the port agency issued the directive in view of recurring complaints trailing the initiative. Ifunaya Eze reports. On arrival at the Lilipon Truck Transit Park, the acting managing director, Nigerian Post Authority, and members of the executive management team went to the electronic truck color platform monitoring room to see things for themselves. And then it was time to question why congestion is still prevailing in spite of the truck color initiative. They are supposed to have deployed uh, some barriers, some bollards, some automated uh, gate systems. Um, some have been deployed, some have not been deployed. And those that, uh, the ones that have been deployed are not fully functional. Um, there are still a lot of human interference in the functions of those gates. There are indications, however, that those that are meant to provide solution are actually sabotaging the system. Operatives working in the Lagos seaport environment are seeing the platform as a quick money-making machine. Reports of extortion, counterfeiting of documents, and duplication of codes of the ETO app have become the order of the day. All this navy, whether around the year they collect money, they pass motor on top of bridge. Then they tell us maybe we have call up, maybe we enter the Ripon. And we enter the Ripon since one weekend, like me, I did since one weekend, three days. This call up, where we do, we don't do call up finish. To pass this motor, go be problem. It's so disappointing when we see MPA officials taking bribes, generating call-ups, stealing our e-call-up codes, selling it back to us. Like some of this truck will be stuck here in Lilliput for over two weeks. And by the time they get to the port after three, four weeks, you find out that their codes are already been used to assess the port. Who can do that? The Port Authority says allegations will not be treated lightly. At places where MPA staff have been accused of being involved in various uh, corruption, uh, corruption issues, I've asked that their names should be submitted to us and we'll take the right disciplinary measures, uh, we'll apply them because we cannot be part of the problem, we should be part of the solution actually. Uh, we are working with the CP, River, um, uh, Lagos State, and there's also CP Marine, we'll discuss with them. Uh, we have had issues of corruption, extortion by other agencies, and we will discuss with the relevant agencies to ensure that that is stopped as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, the traffic situation along the port corridor continues to cause undue delays to the logistics supply chain, especially for export goods. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.